40th game, you've had tryouts, you've had training camp. What have been some highlights from you, for you, of this process so far? Great question. I think that uh, it, it is, uh, the, your question's right, it has been a process. Each day has been a really good learning moment for me. And whatever the results of the games are, the process of having to wake up the next morning and figure out what do you do with your team now. Right? After a win or after a loss, that process has been an enjoyable one. Difficult one at times, but an enjoyable one. Uh, and that's, I think, a challenge that you know you have to be in this seat and have to take this job to really figure those things out. What's the mood of the team? Where are your players at? Where's your staff at? And managing all those people and those relationships is sort of the, uh, the fun of it, but also the challenge of the position thus far. That's my next question. Perfect. Yeah, the highs and the lows. What are some challenges that you maybe enjoy? Does that make any sense? Mm. Like those curveballs, those setbacks. You look back on something like, wow, I'm glad I pushed through this way. Yeah, I think I think one is the roster change, right? And this league is sort of dictated on a ton of roster change and an ability to sort of take that as a positive. And I, I, I told myself before the season started that whatever players are out there and whatever happens, I'm going to make it a positive for those players that are there because they want to fight and work hard. Right? So you can be short all your NBA players and all your point guards and you got to figure it out somehow. I think I've been able to take that on on a, on a, on a positive uh, uh, states. Uh, I think what I was surprised with was my reaction, personal reaction to wins and losses. I'm a pretty even keeled and a pretty positive person for most of my life, and I really <laughs> dislike losing. I didn't know that until now, like at this level, and I think just managing that and figuring out how do you, again, how do you figure out the next day? What do you do? How do you process it? How do you find your foot forward? Um, you know, so I think that's been a great learning, learning curve for me as well. All right, final question for you. You obviously have your coaching staff you can lean on for advice and kind of pick their brain. The Raptors coach staff can kind of call up. When you're on the road, who's someone else maybe or a former coach you have? Who's something you can call as a mentor like, hey, what do you think about this situation? Yeah, for sure. I agree. I have a ton of people sort of at my fingertips, which is great, right, for the Raptors staff. And Nick is incredible, as well as the entire staff there is incredible. Former coaches I've worked with and Sam Mitchell, Jay Triano have also sort of had many times said, hey, whatever you need, just let me know. Yeah. Uh, but for me, it's a bit more personal. So two coaches that really helped me along the journey this year are, are Mike Cates from U of T. Uh, we coached together uh, in college before, and I think he's been someone who's come to figure out this is and sort of watch some games and, and call him up after a game. Did you see that? What, what was I doing? Or what were they doing? And that's been really good. And then and then uh, another from George Brown College, Val Cozan, has been really good too. And Val's uh, just a tremendous coach and, and sort of great mind in basketball. He's been journeying with us this entire year. Uh, and both of those two people are that sort of the older veteran, Riley vet yeah. coaches that you can talk to and just you can, you can pick their brain and they've seen it all before. So it's helped me a lot uh, on my journey. Thanks, Coach. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you.